The thing that struck me about electric cars when I first started driving them is that they make no noise. They are completely silent. It makes more noise getting in and out of the car than it actually does starting it. Apart from the beep, you can't actually tell that the car is on. And as you will see, the silence is wonderful. I've been test driving the BMW i3, which is the best model car that I've tested. It's really slick, it's high end, it's everything you expect from a BMW. It's all of the high performance and the premium comfort that you see in all other BMWs, except for the fact that it has no engine. What it takes getting used to is the fact that when you take your foot off the accelerator, there is no freewheeling of the car. It's the nature of electric cars that when the, uh, the, your foot is off the accelerator, the momentum of the car feeds back into the battery. So it, you don't really get that freewheeling sensation, but you don't really need it. It is just an absolute and utter pleasure to drive a car that is completely silent. Just listen to that. There are only three manufacturers at the moment with cars in South Africa, although there are uh, many others coming. BMW has this model, the i3, which starts at about 650,000 Rand. Then there is the beautiful i8, which is about uh, 2 million Rand. Jaguar has their I-Pace, a very premium car which is also around 2 million rand and Nissan's Leaf uh, is a little bit lower down the scale. One of the obvious things that an electric car solves is the rising fuel price and there's a real trade-off between the cost of the car and the running costs overall. The costs of course are much higher uh, to buy an electric car in no small part because the government charges a a quite obscene 43% tax for an electric car, in spite of the fact that they're not being made. So being an early adopter comes with a significant price tag in this instance. But once you've bought the car and you've sorted out your, your electricity supply, the running costs generally, according to BMW, are about a third of the cost of a tank of gas, as it were. So it's not only a third cheaper but if you have a solar system and you have some batteries that makes your life really simple so amazingly enough given how radical and fantastic this new technology is there are only about 900 electric cars in the country according to blade and samanda uh, who was speaking in parliament when he was still the transport minister that's quite remarkable i think because it would seem like a fantastic solution to so many of the problems that we face in the world. I'm really of the opinion that the next great generation of, of innovation is going to be happening in electric cars and the way we use electric cars. They're not going to get the kind of mass market drive to Durban or Cape Town appeal until there is the equivalent of garages along the way for you to charge your car, but that's not too far off. But what I really appreciate is just the ease of driving. It is a fantastically simple and easy car to drive. It's automatic, as all new cars are. It has the kind of luxurious premium quality that you would expect from a BMW. And of course, it is sheer driving pleasure. There you have it. The future is electric. And it's, I don't know, electrifying. Yeah.